there, I'm Tiffany Burke, and today I want to speak openly and candidly to you about finding your success and living passionately in your life in the photography industry. Now, if for some reason you found this, came across this video, I think the steps I'm going to kind of open up about, I think can be applied to anybody in any job that you want. So if you're not a photographer, maybe the universe is tapping you on your shoulder. This is what I do when I think, think that the universe tells me something. So maybe it's tapping on your shoulder and telling you that you should tune in and you might pick up something. Hopefully you do, whether you're in the photography industry or not, whether you're just starting out or not, hopefully there's something in here that you can have a takeaway that will make you more excited about your job and your everyday living. So first of all, I think what's really important is to define success. For me, the answer is that there is no one definition of success. It's going to be different for every single person. Maybe for you, it's getting published in Style Me Pretty or Green Wedding Shoes or whatever the kind of cool, um, beautiful places are to turn your work into. Maybe success for you is being um, a teacher and a mentor. Maybe success for you is booking 100 clients every year. Um, it's going to look different for every single person. And there is no right or wrong way for your own success. So for me, um, just openly, what is my success is waking up every single day to a job that I absolutely love, I feel passionate about, I'm excited to go do, and having that job that gives me enough personal freedom and financial freedom to be able to be with the people I love the most, my kids and my husband. Um, so for those of you that don't know quickly personally about me, I am married, I um, my husband is in the movie industry and we have two sons together. We have both been full time doing our dream jobs for the last six years and that has been our sole income is, is working in these industries. I'm a full time photographer and I'm hustling and, and working every day for it. So I kind of want to go into teaching you, just give you a couple steps for what has helped me for like my ingredients of helping me get to my success. I do want to remind you when you're like watching the people around you, I want them to, to be people that inspire you and not anybody that makes you feel down about yourself. So as you see on social media or wherever it is that you're seeing other people's success, remember that's not yours. Yours is going to be very different and you might have to do a lot of self-reflection along the way in order to be really happy with, with where you are in your life. So kind of table that for now. So. The first and foremost thing for me is hard work. I feel like it's really easy to think like, oh, I'm gonna go into business for myself and do this and that, and it's gonna be really easy because Joe Schmo down the street did it and he's making bank and, and this is awesome and, and these people are making it look really easy, and maybe they are, but you're gonna do yourself a disservice if you think that way. You have to go into it knowing that it's going to be a lot of hard work. Otherwise, when you hit those challenges and those speed bumps, you'll quit and you'll fail and you won't have what you thought you could have and what you deserve to have, which is this freedom to have a beautiful life um, that you worked really hard for. There's that drawing where it says success, you know, often looks like this, but it's all squiggly and all over the place and it's a big messy glob and that's true. It's just like anything, you know, you have to work really, really hard for anything you want. You want that house, you can't just wake up and have it. You have to work really hard for it. Maybe you have to build it. Maybe you have to start with the foundation and then you have to continue going on and getting the electricity going and the plumbing and, and it's a lot of groundwork. So is running a business. If you want a successful company, you have to put the sweat into it. It's a lot of work. And so just knowing that we, my husband and I work really hard at it. And sometimes we have time off and sometimes we don't. Sometimes we wanna go do these things with our friends and we can't, and we just say, we are sorry, we can't. We are, we're in the middle of a deadline or we're working really hard for this right now. So don't be afraid to work hard and really, really hard for what you want. I made little notes because sometimes I get distracted and they start chatting and telling stories. Um, so the second thing that I feel is really, really important is know your value. Um, 
and do things the right way. So those kind of come hand in hand. Knowing your value is really hard. I have people come to me all the time, Tiffany, how do I know how much to charge or how much I'm, I'm worth or how did you get from where you are now, from where you were to where you are now and pricing increasing and all this. And it is very, it's a lot, especially when a lot of us feel that even though we know we work hard and we have value, we second guess ourselves and we don't think we're worth it. And you are. That's, that's the big secret is that you are worth it and your time is priceless and it is so, so valuable. And I think my best advice to knowing your value is actually really running your business the right way. My first year in business, I had no business being in business. I did everything, everything wrong. I filed taxes late because I didn't know that I had to file taxes. I did not have business insurance. Um, I, I, I'm trying to think, I, I was just messing up on all the things. I wasn't doing anything the right way. As I grew in my business and I started to invest more time and money into my company, I realized this is, this, my time is valuable and it's costing me a lot of time and a lot of money to be doing these things. Being in QuickBooks and spending time doing your accounting properly and spending time when you have to do your taxes takes a lot from you. That's valuable. When you're updating your website and you're working on your blog and you're editing pictures and you're doing all of the things, plus the cost to, to house all these things, and maybe you don't have a storefront or a studio, and in that case, you still have a ton of, of finances behind you, getting business insurance, um, paying for your website, paying to host your pictures, paying for your backup drives, paying for gear, paying for new classes. I mean, education, the list goes on and on and on. So for me, after that first year in business, when I was charging $100 a session, I think my take home was $2.22 an hour. It was something really, really small. And that wasn't anything that we could live off of. And so we had to restructure and we kept restructuring as our time went on. Somebody once said this, and I wish I could remember who it was, but they said, how much is your time away from what you love the most worth? So think about that for a second. For me, it's my kids. So I would think about that. I let Someone said that to me, or I saw it on a course um, online or something, and I would think about that for days on end, and I would be, what do I love most? My children and my husband, and my time with them is, is the most precious, valuable thing to me. So when I would be on a session or a shoot, I would think about that. I would think, is this worth my time away? And it, it, never, it wasn't. Sometimes it would be because I would have a great session and sometimes it wouldn't be. And so eventually it would just start to increase my prices over time. And that can be a totally different topic if you want me to discuss on that. But the point is knowing your worth and the more time you spend running your business the right way and doing things the right way, you're gonna go, aha. This takes a lot to run a business and I need to be charging more. This is taking me a lot of time away from, this isn't just going to a session, taking pictures and handing the images over. This is me hand editing each image. This is me corresponding with my clients. This is me coming up with outfit ideas. This is me, you know, meetings and all of the things that go into running a successful business, a business that has a lot of value, start looking at your value and start charging properly. And from there, you're gonna really start to see things becoming really what you wanted and why you got into business in the first place. And it takes time to get there. So don't get discouraged if you're still at the low end of pricing. Jump up every every time you book five sessions, jump up $25 a session or $100 or whatever it is you feel brave enough to try out. Um, but just know it's like building that house. How It takes a lot of time to get there. So um, my next thing is to ignore everyone. I feel like we live in this age where it's so easy to compare ourselves and also to, to give criticism really easily all online. People just shout out things. I've posted pictures before and people I don't even know have said that terrible things about my work. And imagine if you had listened to these people. I watch I've seen a lot of people post in groups and terrible things said about these people and later on they've come to shock us all. Don't listen to the people who aren't out there doing it and even if they are out there doing it, you know, unless they're there with really with the intent to help you and you really are seeking out the help, otherwise ignore it. Educate yourself, 
from however you want to. If you want to educate yourself on those people, do it. Educate from books. Never stop learning and growing, of course. I'm always on the pursuit of knowledge. I always can be better. I just, I don't know everything. And I hope I never do. But so for you, when these people were coming at you with this negativity, ignore it. You have you to focus on. You have time. Your time is so precious and valuable. And it's to be focused on you and not this negativity that comes in. Okay? And in that same note, ignore the people that are making you feel bad unintentionally. The people who are posting about, you know, these lavish trips, places, or their success online that makes you feel bad. If it doesn't inspire you and make you feel like a better person, you don't have to look at, hide the stuff in your feed. Focus on you and what you want. If that's what you want, use it to inspire you. Don't ever let these things pull you down. Again, your time is so precious. Don't waste it on letting yourself feel bad because of what you see. Don't compare yourself. Don't look to see if the grass is greener. What's that phrase? The only time you should ever look over into your neighbor's fence to compare is to make sure that they have enough to eat. Like that's the only time to make sure that they, they don't need you. So I, I really live my life in that way and I feel joyful and excited for those around me that are doing their work and if there was ever anyone that I was Oh God, if every time I see that, it makes me feel bad about myself. Hide them in your newsfeed or defriend or whatever it is you need to do to focus on you. Um, okay, so and there's two more that are left. I know, a little, a little chatty, surprisingly. Um, say yes to giving. And I feel like sometimes we feel that we always have to charge or that we always have to bring an income to feel valuable. And I feel like that's not true. You're in charge now. You run your own business. You were the boss. You get to say yes or discount or whatever. So I feel like the more that you're giving in your life, the, the more fulfilled it is. And the more that comes back to you. I've just, I've, I've, I grew up in a family and that's just, the community that I lived in, that's just what we did. We just gave, we gave, a, we gave a ton. That's just, I believe our job on this planet is to help other people. That's it. You help without needing anything in return except the value of making this world better. And so you have a gift. If you're watching this video, you have some sort of a gift inside of you that you're Either you're a photographer and that's how you got to this video or you're curious about starting a new business because you might have a beautiful hidden talent, which I believe everybody has, but you have a gift inside of you and it is okay to give that away for free to those who need it and to share it. So for me, um, several things that I do, but one of the things is I give um, to cancer patients when they're usually, usually on their way out, but... Um, families that come through and they might not get the family photos or they might not take the time to do it. So I offer free sessions for families that need that. I get emotional thinking about it. Um, photos are precious. Photos of their loved ones before they go are precious. So I do that. And then I donate. I'm only, I'm only supposed to donate five sessions a year to auctions, but it's, it's close to 20. I can't even count anymore, but <laughs> it takes time away from my family when I donate, but I can't help it. These people write to me and they have beautiful causes and I want to bring money to the table. I want to bring value and I want to help the community. So I am a little bit of a sucker for giving. So you don't have to give a ton, but um, finding something that you feel passionate about and using your craft to give or just giving on the side, helping out. I'm a big advocate in the homeless community and, and, and it has nothing to do with my photography. So you could do something like that. I just feel like enrich your life with giving back. That's, I've noticed that in a lot of my friends, that's something that seems when they feel lost and they come to me and we talk about giving back, they say, I forgot, I got so busy surviving as we often do. So busy playing catch up with my own life, I forgot to give. And, and, and they get, reignited and sometimes through that you can find your passion if you're feeling lost so i really really encourage your company to be a big giver in the community and to not be afraid to say yes to free things and for you yourself to be a giver 
Um, and then so my one other, my fifth thing for success, um, and of course there's more, but these are just, I know, you know, maybe there's only two people watching the video. So, <laughs> but my fifth thing for success is don't be afraid to take risks and say yes to yourself and what you want. And even if it's something that's like a little bit different for you, um, you, you just, you never know what's, like little yes thing you say yes to today that could be the biggest thing of your life in five years or 10 years or five days. You don't know. Six years ago in 2009, um, towards the end of 2009, my husband and I were both laid off from our jobs when it was really financially hard. You know, we all kind of hit that. He was a welder and I worked for the health department and we lost everything. And we both said yes to a creative career. And we both said, let's try it. This is the scariest thing we've ever done. And, and, and um, so I think like say yes to yourself and explore new options. And when I'm shooting, sometimes I say yes to things that I might not have thought of myself. And they've ended up being some of the best photos that I've ever taken. So don't be afraid to take great risks for you. You only live once unless there's reincarnation. But in that case, we would be forgetting. So you only live once and remember it. So enjoy it and allow yourself to have the life you want and deserve. You deserve to wake up happy every single day in your relationships, in your career, in your everyday life. You do. You don't deserve anything less than happiness and it's up to you to bring that to the table for yourself and you can do it. You can apply that hard work. You can apply saying yes. You can do all those things, ignore any negativity, get rid of that, and just focus on you. Work on you. Better yourself the best that you can. I, I, I am the most imperfect person you will ever meet. I have I have struggles and, and all of the things, but I am working on myself every day, and I'm working on my company every day, and I'm learning every day, and I wish that for you. I wish for you to constantly be on the pursuit of knowledge and education, and I wish for you to say yes to yourself and yes to new adventures and to be willing to work hard and through the hard that like the hard days and the hard times in order to have the good happy ones. Okay, so this is a lot. I talk a lot. Hopefully this helps you. If it does, feel free to message me anytime. Um, Tiffany Burke Photography on Facebook and Instagram and um, or TiffanyBurkePhotography.com. You can find me there. And um, good luck. I think you had to watch this video for a reason. I think, I think there is the universe. Okay, be well and I'm excited for you. I'm excited. Okay, I'll talk to you soon.